Reporting to you live from the perfect restaurant here in Scarborough, Ontario. It's live from last week's episode 92. Let's go. Welcome you my fellow Geo Walkers to another episode of Lab from last week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So just reviewing what happened last night when I was telling you guys that I was going out to dinner with a couple of friends. The wife and I are getting ready to go downtown to Koreatown to meet up a couple of our friends for some dinner. We made a drive to the Bathurst and Bloor area and after parking just a couple blocks down in Koreatown, we finally found our place of dinner for the night. But while we were having our meal over there at the restaurant, I noticed something that was a little bit off. And as you guys can see here, lo and behold, in the corner of the restaurant, thinking that my actual real life wife was right beside me all this time, I saw a doppelganger slash twin of my wife. I mean, just look at the resemblance. And even after we left the restaurant, going by a local bubble tea place, while we were waiting for our friends to finish up their purchase of bubble tea, guess who once again I saw walk outside that store. Anyways, with the real wife right by my side, we decided to go for a quick mini carpool with our friends. We have an Do Uber! You want our we also stopped by a nearby convenience store where I saw a couple of candies that I haven't seen in such a long time. AKA these mini hamburger gummies and my beloved white rabbit treats. Of which we were able to enjoy while visiting my friend V's place downtown where we haven't been to since Pride weekend earlier in the summer. Checking out her new living room with her brand new TV. But yeah, honestly, this was probably my very first hamburger gummy since the 90s and unraveling my first white rabbit in more than 20 years. But on to today, where I'm just wrapping up my eight days off of work on this nice staycation that I had last week. Monday, I have Tuesday, I have Wednesday, I have Thursday, I have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Come on. This morning, I carpooled the wife to downtown to catch an educational class at work. Then, like my monthly ritual, I went to nearby Gerard Square to check out their Planet Fitness and obviously to use their Hydro Massage Beds. And afterwards, finding myself here at Little India on the east end of Toronto, checking out a place slash restaurant that I've always wanted to go to that the wife and I back when we were in Mississauga last week saw that it was used in a movie that was shot here in Toronto, the one and only famous Lahore Tika House. Anyways, I'm headed back home to edit some live from last week video, be an Uber driver for the wife later on today, and go in for my first of my two night shifts, a set of five shifts in the next six days. But before I do that, I have a birthday greeting to one of my university friends that I haven't seen in quite a long time. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Sandy. Happy birthday, Sandy. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. Just a quick throwback to yesterday, to when, once again, filling up the mini on premium gas, which amazingly was cheaper than the previous times that I filled her up in the past. And the rare thing about yesterday, I was able to fill up spot on on the dollar mark. And this was refreshing considering that what I saw at the pharmacy yesterday with all the outrageous signs and markups on daily everyday products. Like, look at this. The prices for body wash are on sale for only $4 a bottle with me not believing that somebody could actually afford the regular price of almost $8. Or even deodorant going for $6 a stick I mean, imagine paying the regular price of almost $10 a stick, or even this pack of soap on sale for only $7, with the regular price being almost 
$16 a pack. Which got me thinking, considering that minimum wage in Toronto is $15.50, is this pack of soap really worth it? Honestly, at these prices, some people would have to prioritize feeding themselves before even thinking about having a shower. So get ready for a very stinky future society, people. Just kidding, but seriously, inflation is really killing us right now. And on to more complaints, another thing that I have an issue with are the mirage of tickets listed on the Ticketmaster website. This afternoon, while trying to buy tickets to the weekend's concert tomorrow, the cheapest tickets were going for $150 a seat. So I clicked on the link trying to secure these tickets. But unfortunately, I got a pop-up like this, letting me know that I didn't secure those tickets. But here's the catch. When I went to the website afterwards, guess what happened? Ticketmaster actually raised the original price of the listed ticket. An extra $5 per ticket were added onto the fees. I mean, like, what exactly happened in the time between when I first saw that ticket to the second time I saw that ticket on Ticketmaster? And can somebody tell me what extra service Ticketmaster is charging me for, for that extra $5 in fees? Anywho, on to some good news. This morning, after a very busy night shift, I got word at work that they were having a staff appreciation day, where at the entrance, they were handing out these pretty nice pullovers which I probably put on a fashion show out on the street after I was done my night shift. And speaking of night shifts, before I go in for my second night shift tonight, I have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with a Wysik alumni who I last saw during Nikki's book signing up in Aurora a couple years back. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Varga. Happy birthday, Varga. We've also got a birthday shout out to an SMIOA family friend who I last saw several years back here in Toronto. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Vanessa. Happy birthday, Vanessa. And last but not least, I got a birthday shout out to one of my former co-workers who, on the odd occasion, I see bringing me up patients from the PACU. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Grace. Happy birthday, Gracie. I'm hoping that all my friends out there that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But of course I do, Mr. Earth, Mr. Wind, and Mr. Fire. And as you guys can tell, I obviously had my second night shift last night, which actually was preceded with a nice little Italian dinner featuring spaghetti and Atisha's world famous spaghetti sauce. Thanks, Atisha. Anyways, if you guys haven't noticed, today is the first day of autumn with it also being hella windy. Whoa, what is going on? Anyways, earlier today, I decided to get ready for the cooler autumn temperatures and go on Facebook Marketplace for the first time in a long while to see if I can buy this new Blue Jays hoodie. And now check it out guys, guess who's ready for the cooler fall weather. But yeah, before I wrap it up for my one day off in the middle of a span of five night shifts, and before I take my new Blue Jays hoodie with me, I have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my cousins, AKA a cousin-in-law in the Philippines, who actually helped me with my Tagalog language skills when I was visiting there a couple years back. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Madel. Happy birthday, Madel. And secondly, a birthday shout out to one of my elementary school and high school friends, who I'm also remembering was an outstanding basketball and soccer athlete back in the day. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Sarah. Happy birthday, Sarah. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Hold up, just a quick second. I don't know if it's the fact that the seasons have changed from summer to autumn or that I only got two and a half hours of sleep post night shift, but I decided to go shopping at this value village. Look around at this place that reminded me of a garage sale that I used to frequent back in the day and looked at the uniform aisle to find these treasures of a buy. Check this out, 
a set of a scrub shirt and scrub pants that are actually the Figs brand of scrubs, took them off the rack, looked at them, and decided to buy the set for the wife. With the scrub shirt going for three bucks and the scrub pants going for a measly four bucks. And by looking at this receipt, you guys can tell that this scrub set for both the shirt and the pants were less than $8 in total. So yeah, hopefully later on, I'll be able to surprise the wife with their new scrub set and tell her that instead of going to the weekend concert and spending hundreds of bucks on two tickets, I bought her some clothes for work for a fraction of the price. So last night after picking up the wife from work, in lieu of getting her expensive tickets to the weekend concert, I bought some takeout dinner at a local place that we've always wanted to go to. The local establishment called the Upper Beaches Bourbon House. Where for about $50, we bought a couple of dishes of Creole slash Cajun food in the form of the Bayou Brisket Dinner and the Creole Chambalaya. As well, when I ordered from the guy at the counter, I think his name is Seja, I told him that if we enjoyed the food, we would come back at a future date and order some more. And boy, as you guys can tell by this reaction to the food, Mmm. Oh, very flavorful. I think that we will definitely come back for more sometime in the near future. Anyways, after dinner, I saw that we had some mail that was directed to me, addressed from the Ministry of Ontario Jury Administration. Which actually, I was kind of nervous about because the wife was telling me that it might be a note for jury duty. But this is what it read. Dear prospective juror, you are receiving this letter and mandatory jury eligibility form to find out if you qualify for jury duty. This does not mean you have been chosen for jury duty. Anyways, after I filled up the form, this morning I went to the local mailbox and mailed it in. And I guess we'll just have to find out in the future if I'll ever become a member of a jury in court. In addition to what I did earlier, I dropped off the wife at nearby Warden Station so that she can go for her second job in courting another wedding later on tonight. As well, I made a pit stop to the cemetery to do my monthly visit to my Lola. Hey Lola. It's JJ. Just wanted to come by and visit you before I go in for my set of night shifts. And I don't know if you can tell by comparing videos from last month's visit to Lola, the trees over here near her site have turned from orange to being almost bare now. Also wanted to update you on what happened since the last time I was here. We got together as a family to check out Eliza's 18th birthday for her debut. And I know that even though you weren't there in person, you were there looking over us in spirit. Anyways, Lala, bye for now. See you next month and continue to guide us and look over us in our everyday lives. And after that visit, after missing going to rec room almost every day last week and watching live baseball, I worked on a little music video to commemorate last week's fun-filled day when I went to the Blue Jays doubleheader. <music> And for now, before I go in for my first night of a set of three night shifts tonight, I just have a quick birthday greeting to one of my former BBG co-workers who would always bring in their campers to the health center for me to help them get better. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Becky. Happy birthday, Becky. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and had a great celebration for your birthday this year. After a pretty busy night shift last night, I came home and was only able to take a three hour nap. But I'm thinking it's maybe because I'm pretty excited about an event that I put earlier this month on my calendar. 
One that I've always wanted to watch in person when I was younger, which made a rare trip to Toronto called the Red Bull Float Tag. An event where contestants make a homemade makeshift flying apparatus and go over a 20 foot ramp, seeing how far their aircrafts can glide over the water. But after realizing that this event started around noontime and finished around 2 p.m., plus the fact that I have to go in for my night shift tonight, I unfortunately had to miss this year's competition, but I'm very hopeful that it will return to Toronto sometime in the near future when I actually have a day off. And speaking of work, before I go in for my second night shift tonight, I have a quick birthday greeting for you guys today. And this birthday shout out goes out to one of my coworker buddies with whom I enjoyed going to rec room with back a couple weeks ago. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Indy. Happy birthday, Indy. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So last night before driving in for my night shift, unbelievably for the second week in a row, this guy was able to find yet another ground level parking spot in the works parking garage. Once again, shortening my commute from my car to the entrance of work by a whole 10 seconds. Anyways, on to today where I got a measly couple of hours of sleep once again between my shifts. Since I've been busy for the third weekend in a row, I was able to catch my weekly Sunday Mass via YouTube once again. And after Mass, it hit me that I'm really excited to see what kind of things I'll be up to tomorrow. Mainly because the Blue Jays will be back in town. And although he's a Yankee, one of my favorite baseball players, Aaron Judge, will be in town with the Yankees. Where he just might be going for history, possibly hitting his 61st or even 62nd home run of the season. And this guy is just about to buy tickets to that game. Plus, the excitement is also hitting me because tonight I'm going in for my fifth shift in six nights. And I'll have a couple of days off to actually do something outside of work. But yeah, before I go in for my night shift, I have a quick birthday greeting to one of my FCAR alumni friends who actually allowed me to stay at his condo for a couple of days back a couple of years ago when I visited him in Vancouver. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Mark. Happy birthday, Mark. I'm hoping that at this time you're doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So today I want to share with you guys something that happened last night. Before I went to work while parking in the parking garage, guess who got the best parking spot in the parking garage that is the most closest to the gate? And coming in at parking spot number one was this guy. And in the morning after the wife met me up at the parking garage and me celebrating this high score of a parking spot, post night shift I only got less than two hours of sleep and headed to one of our hot spots for lunch, the perfect restaurant in Scarborough, to meet up my parents and my Tita Ots and my nephew Gabby. How do you do it? Like this, right? Okay, one, two, three. So in the plane, when uh, they'll give you a paper, and they just fill that up. You can't trick me, that's Gabby. That's it. That's you it. can't that's trick me. And then you just give it. To go for a celebratory lunch in honor of the birthday of my Lolo Papa Kalis. And afterwards, continuing on with the fact that I bought some Blue Jays tickets to see one of my favorite players, Aaron Judge, come and perform here at the Rogers Center tonight. I'm taking the wife out on a date to the Blue Jays game in hopes of witnessing history and watching Aaron Judge hit his possible 61st home run. Oh.
So guys, tonight, unfortunately, Aaron Judge wasn't able to hit a home run, which just means I'll have to go to the game tomorrow back at the Dome for a chance to witness history. But the good news is the Blue Jays were able to pull out the victory in extra innings. And yeah, after enjoying ourselves at the game tonight, I'm feeling like it's time to wrap up this week's episode right here. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.